Hello guys, what's up? Today we are going to be showing uh, the sweep modifier and how you can do that in Blender. Sweep modifier, for, for who doesn't know, it's a modifier that is very useful on Max for, for normally for you create those uh, trims on ArcPiece or even sometimes you want to create baseboards or whatever it has a shape and you want to follow that with another shape. So here in Max, for example, it's pretty easy, right? You just need to select your line. You have two lines, two splines, one spline and the other spline. You have to select this spline, go here to the modifiers, looking for sweep modifier. In my case, I put it here. So you just put a sweep instead of use one of the build it in shapes you use a custom selection and then you pick the selection and bam. this is amazing I love that simplicity in 3d max it's so good this guy is one of the best tools for modeling that I think that 3d max has today and it's very clean it's very powerful you have tons of different custom uh, custom shapes here but you can always use your own right so let's go in blender is not that simple is still simple but uh, is a workaround because to create the lines it's not that that simple as a 3d max I would say 3d max is a 10 and I would give it to blender to create lines uh, 7 right so we have two lines here we just you just need to select one line and then you go here to the line to the shape uh, to the shape characteristics and you select this spline, right and inside this spline you have the geometry you have the shape 2d 3d and you have the geometry right you go to the geometry and here in the geometry you have to go to depth so if you put a depth what happened in your spline it's gonna give something that you can feel you can put both sides you can do whatever you want right but it's always rounded in blender 2.91 which is not the version that I'm working now it they improve this so now you can customize your bevel as you want but let's say that you want to customize that basically in another shape like sweep in max so right we can just go here in object and select the shape voila we have the shape going on here and you can always go to your modifier here change it it's gonna follow like max right like max if you go to max and you go here to spline if you go here to your spline right you can always move it around and you will be pretty much following up but the difference is because I like more 3d max because 3d max uh, it respects it respect the alignment of the shape even if you go on your 3d right what i mean on 3d because right now we are we just have that as a 2d i would say 2d right two dimensional uh, two dimensional it's three dimensional but it doesn't have even the shape is not going up right but if you try to go up max preserves it preserves the distance it doesn't distort the mesh right so it's good in these regards right it distorts here of course because you are always like pushing the tangents up and down but in case of blender you cannot do that you cannot do that right you try to do that here you can't because it's set it up for 2d by default but if you want to do that and you set it up for 3d you can tell right away that the mesh is distorted already you see the difference because it has weights that automatically 
these stores here so you go up you kind of distort the mesh right I don't like this and you always even if you have your mesh like crazy this is something good in blender if you have your mesh like crazy like that right and you oh my goodness I mess around with everything you just press 2d and it goes to 2d again right it goes flat and another thing that I like let's say in blender let's say if you have a 3d or something like that right let's say that you are let's say that for some reason you are using 3d right you can always take the vertices and align on whatever X you want right you always can align your vertices right let's align on X right or let's align on Z on Y right you always can align that but in max you in max sorry this is unreal oops but in max you basically cannot do that unless you bring the vertices and snap manually right but you don't have the option here to align as you have on uh, editable poly let's say and edit poly like aligning y x and z but it doesn't matter because for the sweep modifier you can do both normally what you do when in the sweep, sweep modifier is that you are always 2d but if you want to do something on 3d max is better right away out of the box because you can you know move it here and then and then you always will put on top you will see that it preserves the same way no and that's good that's something good on max and in blender the way you can do that is uh is a bit uh work around right but here we go this is the strip modifier here in blender is uh some beauty on the inside this spline here inside the geomet inside the the bevel so you pick it up the result for 2d is exactly the same if you modify this guy here whatever you modify here you see that you see that happen in real time right if you modify something here you see that this is happening like the same thing happen the same thing happen with 3d max if you go to this line if you go to this line and then you go here pick up your vertices then you start to move it around start to move it around everything will be following up right i hope you like it uh my next tutorial i will going back to the landscaping and trees and um, how to improve even more uh, the look when you see the root of a tree in contact with the ground right still using dynamic paint but it's something uh, more uh, developed than my previous video right hope you like it see you soon